Welcome back everyone, Savo here and in this video we are going to create a heart life system where each heart represents one life point. This system is used in many popular games just like Terraria, The Binding of Isaac and of course Spartup. The last one is actually my own game and not so popular yet so please download link in the description. Here you can see a heart I created earlier in Photoshop and implemented in Unity. Our Spartan will be the victim of this tutorial since we want to kill him by destroying all of his hearts. The first thing to do is to create an UI image. As you notice, the canvas and the event system will be created automatically. Most of the time in my own games I change the render mode of the canvas to screen space camera and use the main camera of the scene for rendering. I also set the UI scale mode to scale with screen size using as a reference resolution HD. With these settings the screen match mode should be matched with or height with a match at about 0.5. We are done with the canvas and continue by changing the sprite of our image to the hard one. We place it to the right position, make it bigger so that every gamer out there can easily see it and also change the name to hard one. Next, we duplicate the heart two times in order to have a total of three. This actually means that our Spartan has only three hearts and therefore very easy to kill. Sorry Spartan. Next step is to select all of the hearts and change the anchor point to the top left. By doing this, we assure that our hearts are always placed in the same position despite of the screen resolution. Now that our scene is set up, we create a new c -sharp script and name it Heart System. We will need a public game object array for all of our hearts and a public integer value that will represent our life. An easy way to reduce our life is to create a public function, for example take damage, which will take an integer argument. This argument will determine how much life we are going to lose, so we just subtract it from our life. Now in the update function we need to check with an if else statement the value of our life. With if else statement like this, always remember to start with the lowest value. For example here, our first if statement will check if the life is less than 1. If so, we have to destroy the first game object of our hearts array. Now since our Spartan has only 3 lives, we will need another 2 else if statements checking if the life is less than 2 or less than 3. In each case, we just destroy the next heart of the game object array. Back in Unity, I will drag the script to our Spartan and change the size and the life variables both to 3, filling in the array with all of the hearts. With this done, we create a UI button using the onClick event in order to call the take damage function. Hmm, now something seems to be wrong. Of course, when we check if our life is less than 3, our array goes out of bounds and we need to change this to 2. Now everything works exactly as it should be. Of course we can continue clicking on the button despite not having any hearts. So in the first if statement where we check if the life is less than 1 and after destroying the heart, there should be a script where we handle the death of our Spartan. At this point we could say that we are actually done. But what if we don't know exactly the amount of hearts our character has? For example, we could use an item to increase the total amount of our life. So let's make our Spartan harder to kill and increase the amount of hearts to 5. Back to our code, let's do the necessary changes. First of all, we have to delete everything in the update function and create a new private bull named dead. Now this time, everything happens inside of the take damage function. First, we reduce our life value and destroy the heart of our hearts array that is pointed with a new value of our life variable. Let me explain. Let's say that our total life is equal to 3. This means that we can access our game object array with the values 0, 1 and 2. Next, we take 1 damage, so the new value of our life will be 2. This means that we are going to destroy the heart that's placed inside of the cell with an indicator of 2. This heart is actually the first one starting from right to the left. 
Next time we take damage, our life will be reduced to 1. So we are going to destroy the heart that's placed on the array at the position 1. And at last, when our life is reduced to 0, we just destroy the last heart at the position 0 of our array. Now with that explained, we need to have another if statement where we check if the life is less than 1. And if so, we change the dead bool variable to true. This boolean will be checked inside of the update function and if it's true, we need a set that code in order to kill our poor Spartan and pop up the game over scene. Now, since we don't want to set our maximum life manually, we will make it inside of the start function equal to the hearts.length, which is the length of the array containing all of the hearts. Ok, now back in Unity, let's add the two remaining hearts to our array. Very nice! As you can see, every time we click on the damage button, one heart will be removed. The problem is that when we click another time on the button, when no heart is left, we will get an error. But this has a very simple fix. We just execute everything that's done inside of the take damage function only if our life is greater or equal to 1. Let's also make it more obvious whenever we die by adding a new debug log text inside of the update function. Now we are done and you can see that our hearts are destroyed one by one and at the last one we get the notification that we are dead. Of course you can change how the hearts are destroyed by adding some particle effects or animations to create the effect that the heart is ripped apart. And with that said, if you enjoyed the video, smash the subscribe button and if not, smash it harder. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao!